Finn, another excellent performance uh, last Friday in the SPFL Trust Trophy. Um, a win that probably not many um, would have predicted given how well Partick Thistle are doing, but it was a, a dominant performance um, and a, another good performance from yourself as well. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought, especially their championship side, and they're doing really well. I know they're missing a few players, but they've still got a good squad, but I just thought we'd dominate the game, especially the first half. For at least 40 minutes, we were controlling it, moving it, and they couldn't couldn't handle us. Probably should have been three goals up by half time. And the second half wasn't as easy, but we still created a lot. So I thought we could have easily scored four or five at least. And obviously, you guys were carrying on your good form from the from the game the the previous week, uh, the big mm -hmm. derby game uh, yeah. against Dunfermline. Um, obviously, the first Dunfermline derby you've played in. I am. Um, Probably one of the more hostile environments you played in in your your, your career as well. Yeah, um, how how did you find that one? No, obviously it's a big game. Heard all the stories about Dunfermline and that. So especially with the crowd that we brung, made the game quite. You can say hostile, but obviously getting shouted at abuse. It's funny, but I thought obviously it helped us play really well, especially away from home. And we probably could have came out with a win on that three points, but take a draw away from home. At least, but hopefully next time we can get the, the three points. And again, for the for the last few weeks, um, you've been filling in at right back position. Unfortunately, Ryan Ryan's on the sidelines yeah. with an injury. Obviously, not your natural position, and we've talked about that before. But mm. is it a position you feel you're getting a bit more used to and a, a bit more effective in? Yeah, well, obviously Ryan's struggling, so someone's got to fill in for him. And if I've got to play right back for however long, couple of months, then that's what it's got to be. But once I start getting more games there, obviously I'll get more comfortable with it and hopefully I can get forward and get a goal or something. But overall, all right. And just uh, just to touch on, on your performances as well, since you've joined the club, mm -hmm. um, obviously you're, you're a young player yeah. and I don't think a lot of fans expect you to have the impact that you did coming into the team straight mm -hmm. away. Um, you came in, some really terrific performances from yourself. You look like you're enjoying your football um, and obviously you, you won your... Uh, first player of the month as, ward, uh, as well, the first of the season. Um, how much are you enjoying it here and how much have you have you settled in? Yeah, it's obviously my first time playing first team football and it's not an easy league, I tell you that, so I've just got to keep my head down and keep trying to play play good football and perform. Um, but i just got to keep my, keep my head down, really. How much of a lift has it given you that the, the management team obviously have that faith in you to, to keep playing yeah. you week in, week out? Obviously, it's a big confidence boost knowing that he trusts me to do a job for him. Even though it's not my natural position, I still feel like I do a decent job there for the team. And obviously, the way we've been playing recently, you can't really fault any of the players in the team just now. And moving on to, to this weekend, um, a game, another game at home um, to Clyde this time. Yeah. Um, how's preparation gone, and, and what have uh, what have the what, what's the manager been telling you guys in the, in the lead up to this game, tactic, tactics wise? Yeah, just keep doing what we're doing really. We're performing really well as a team. They can't handle us most weeks, so we just gotta like keep it as the same as every other game. Just go in, pretend that we're playing Barcelona and just try to get a couple of goals again. Try win by four or five maybe. But just the same as last week, just blow them off the park really. And Obviously, the, the, the good performances you guys have put in, um, how much have the fans been a factor to that? Because they've been showing up in their numbers mm -hmm. um, to support you guys really well. Um, how much of a boost has that given you and, and the rest of the team as well? Yeah, obviously, when the fans are behind you and it's loud, you can hear them. It obviously, get the team, the way and they're struggling to keep up with our fans. But it gives you a real confidence boost knowing that they're behind you every game, away from home and obviously at home, the, the numbers are mad. So just keep coming, please. <laughs> And just lastly, you've got a, a difficult month ahead, um, a difficult time in the in the calendar. Originally, we had uh, five games, um, but now we've got six with the, with the rescheduled Aloha, mm -hmm. Aloha game. Is this a crucial point in the season to try and get as many points as possible and 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 get get yourselves up the up the table? Yeah, obviously we need. We'd like to come come away with every single point we can, but six games in. A week and in a month, sorry, it's tough. So we're going to need everyone in the squad to chip in at some point. All right, Finn. Thank you for your time and uh, good luck at the weekend. Cheers.